afternoon, good afternoon. Welcome to recipe of the day. It is another beautiful day and we are going to be making two yummy things today. We're going to be making two things with corn today. So we have some yummy things on deck today and I am excited to get started. So I'm going to turn off our dancing music here and get you guys up. The only way I know you're here is if you comment, so leave me a comment so I can say hi. And we can chat here. Okay, here we go. Oh, I think we're going. Hold on. My uh, technology here. Oh, there's Destiny. Hey, girl, how are you? Hold on. Trying to get my live going here. Hang on a second. Technology at its finest. There we go. I think we're good here. How's it going? Okay, so two corn things today, and we are going to be making a corn casserole that looked so yummy, and one of the reasons I like this, I thought it looked cool and different, uh, was it has crispy corn chips as the topping for this corn casserole, looked delish, and then also I'm going to make some bacon wrapped corn cobs with a yummy honey and uh, chipotle glaze on those that you can do in the oven or the barbecue. So we are going to get started here. Hey, Head, I just threw a little bit of this corn I have um, into the pan behind me. I wanted to roast it a little bit, and just to see what would happen. This wasn't really part of the recipe, but I thought, hmm, let's try and roast a little bit of this. But I'm going to get started here and put some of the corn I started. It's going to get a little char on there into our dish here. Turn that off, and the rest of my corn. So I'm starting with about four cups of corn here. And I just thought I would try and get a little roast on that one while I was waiting for you guys, just for fun. Because I'm always trying to try new things. It's always fun. And see how they turn out. Because there's a recipe, and then there's what you do with it. <laughs> so I'm going to get started here. So I have a baking dish here. No, Instagram. Hi, Instagram, if you can see. But I do have a buttered ba uh, ba uh, baking dish here that's ready to go for this. And into this, I am going to start with the corn. Now you could slice these. I've already done, uh, done it off the cob, um, but you want to e end up with about four cups of corn in, in your dish, which is what I have going on here. And then I am going to put in here, um, let's see, the cream. So I am not using heavy cream. It's just too many points. I just can't do it. So I have in here one and a half cups of half and half. And I'm going to mix that up. And then um, I'm going to take a little bit of that and I'm going to blend it with the immersion blender. And you can do this with a food processor or a blender, but I thought the quickest way to do it with you guys watching, but to not make a huge mess, is with the immersion blender. So let me just make sure that's all I put in there for this. Yep. Okay, so I'm going to take about a cup of this mixture out, throw it in here, and we're going to give it a little whirl. So stand by. <laughs> power tools are in use now. <laughs> oh my gosh. To got power tools, we uh, demoed a kitchen in one of our properties over the weekend, and we were definitely broke out the power tools. And demo is really pretty fun. Get it all down, get it all cleaned out, and you can see what your space really looks like. And of course, we filled the dumpster, one dumpster equals one kitchen. Check. <laughs> so I'm just going to make a little puree out of this here. And then I'm going to throw it back into our dish here. So this, if you don't have one, is an immersion bl uh, blender. You can also use your regular mixer, food processor, whatever you've got you can use to make this into a liquid form. So I'm going to throw this back in here. Oh my gosh, just beautiful color. I thought I would throw on some yellow today in honor of corn day. So that's going back in. Okay, move this out of the way here. Okay, so into our corn mixture here. So we got four cups of corn that I puree one cup of it, a cup and a half of half and half here. And now I'm going to put in, oh my gosh, looks so good. Um, oh, my things, hold on, they're in the fridge. <laughs> Forgot my things. Oh. Okay. Oh. Oh my goodness. 
It looked like I forgot my things. I had them all prepped and, re and ready to go and forgot to grab them. <laughs> Whoops. Okay, so here I have all the little things I wanted to put in here. So I have one red jalapeno uh, that I diced up, that it was ready to go here. So one diced jalapeno. Now this is going to be spicy, but that's how we like it. So uh, if you want to make it less spicy, you don't have to put all these peppers in. Um, but I'm using one red jalapeno, one green jalapeno diced, fresh. And then I have here um, a, about, I don't know, a handful or so of the pickled jalapeno, which is actually what the recipe called for, but I added a little more. A few more things in there. So we'll mix in our various jalapenos. And I'm using the red one just because I had it, and it's pretty, and it COVID cooking. We use what we've got. <laughs> Our motto around here, you've got it, use it. Uh, <laughs> okay, so let's see here. Um, jalapeno, okay, the chipotle. So I have got here my chipotle that's also in the fridge. Hold on a second. <laughs> what I was thinking, getting ready for you guys, I was getting my corn all ready. Um, hold on. Okay. Got it all prepped and then put it away. Just prep it with you guys here. Then I wouldn't forget it. <laughs> so I took a can of the adobo, the um, chipotle's in, ado in, 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 in adobo, it comes in a can like this. And I just, again, used the immersion blender and just blended it up. So into this, I'm gonna put a tablespoon of our blended up uh, chipotle's. Now this is very strong, it goes a long way and spicy. So beware when you use it, to use it sparingly, mix it in, and if it's not too spicy, you can mix in a little more, but some people don't like it too spicy, so you gotta go easy on the, in the chipotles. Okay, so, yum, oh my gosh, smells good already. So I'm gonna do a little salt and pepper. Um, oh my gosh, yum, salt, and some pepper going in. Okay. How are you guys today? What is your favorite way to use corn? Do you have a favorite corn dish? We made those yummy corn fritters the other day. Oh my good goodness, yum, yum, yum. They were delish. On our deep fry day. Oh my gosh, this smells so good. Okay, so then I'm gonna add, I have here about, oh, quarter cup or so of cilantro. I'm going to throw it in there. If you're a cilantro lover, you could always put more cilantro if it's your thing, if it's your jam. And if cilantro is not your jam, just leave it out. No problem. Okay, I think that's all our things in here. Oh my goodness, the green. I just knew the red pepper was going to give this just a little bit of zip and some color. Hey Laura, how are you? Welcome. Head, welcome. We're making corn things to uh, today. So now I'm going to take my, move this so you guys can see here, I'm going to do, and I'm going to move my, this tray. And here I have my buttered baking dish. It's ready to go. And I am going to take our corn mixture, this yummy mixture, and pour it in here. And Oh my gosh, this smells so good already. This is gonna be a good one. Oh my gosh, yeah. Okay, so we got that in. Now, spread this out. But the cool thing about this recipe is coming. So there's our corn part. Oh my gosh, how pretty that is with the red and the green and the cilantro, yum. So in this, the topping for this now, I have about a cup, maybe a little more, a cup and a half, of corn chips that I ground up, so you can see. I just put them in a bag and gave them the old rolling pin action in the bag. And then uh, this is what I came up with. So to that, this is our topping. I'm gonna add a third of a cup of flour. And let's see, throw that in there. And 
then I have some butter. We're gonna make a little, like a crumble, but make it out of tortilla chips. How cool is that? Just make sure I get everything in here that's going into our crumble here. Now, okay. if this were a joke, what would you call it? I don't know. Do you have a corn joke? Corny. Corny! From the audience! <laughs> so I have a quarter cup here of melted bu uh, bu uh, butter that's going into our flour and corn chip mixture. Oh my goodness. I just thought this looks so cool. Like you usually make, you know, crumble topping for a, for a fruit tart. Um, or you use, you know, graham cracker crust for a key lime pie we made this weekend. It was delicious. Um, but this is a crumble topping of corn chips for our corn dish. Just thought that was the coolest. So, I'm going to get this all mixed up because the butter is going to make these chips get real crispy. And, oh my gosh, yum! Just make sure I got everything in here. So, I'm going to put a little bit of salt, even though I'm not going to put the salt because the chips have salt. So that's enough of that. Uh, okay, now I'm going to take my little topping here and I'm going to top this corn casserole with the crispy corn chips. How cool is that? Oh my gosh, yum! So I'm just going to sprinkle it all around. And then, when we bake this, it'll get all nice and crispy crunchy on top. Because I love, like, at Thanksgiving, one of my favorite things is always the cream corn. Oh, yum. It's just yummy. I've always loved cream corn. What's your favorite side at Thanksgiving? Well, I love stuffing, too. Stuffing? I'm staying. <laughs> What's that from? People my age. <laughs> I don't think they use that one now. Do they? Oh, my gosh. Okay. Okay. So there we go. Oh my gosh, it smells so good because what's not good with a quarter cup of butter? <laughs> okay, so there's our corn dish. How quick was that? I mean, quick and easy. And throw it in the oven. Another great side for a dinner party or a barbecue because it was easy. And then you just bake it. You can put it in the fridge uh, if you needed to, if you made it a little earlier in the day if you were having a party. Or um, pull it out, throw it in. Easy, ready to go. Because that would go with almost anything, hamburgers, steaks, any kind of a side, that would be delish. So now our next one, I thought this looked so amazing. I have read so many recipes for this, um, getting ready for this show, because there were so many different ways to do this, but I have never done it. So now we're gonna do it today. So I'm gonna take the corn, and here we go with our, with our Bacon, yum, and I have my corn cobs Instagram that I already um, broke them in half. So I'm gonna make a glaze for this that I'm gonna make in this little measuring cup here. I got one out. Okay, and to our glaze, I'm going to put some honey. And the honey going in. And and I'm going to use some adobo. Again, these recipes both just happen to have the, ado the adobo in it. I'm going to put about a tablespoon or so in there. And then I'm going to put a little bit of apple cider vinegar. So I could measure this if I had my measuring spoons, but they disappeared. Okay, there. Found them. Here they are. Okay. I'm going to put a tablespoon of this in there. Get my right recipe up in front of me here. Two tablespoons. And then garlic powder I have in front of me here. It's going in our glaze. And it is half a teaspoon. So we will get this going here. Half a teaspoon of garlic powder. Yum. It's going to be the best corn with this yummy glaze. And a little bit of cumin going in. Half a teaspoon. Oh my gosh, yum! And then put a little salt and a little bit of pepper in here with it. And then we're going to stir this up. Okay. 
get something to stir that with here. Has anyone made um, bacon wrapped corn before? Looks yummy. Okay. So our glaze is ready. So I'm going to move these so I can have some elbow room here to make my glaze. Glaze my corn. Okay. So I'm going to take my piece of corn here. I'm going to take a little bit of the glaze and I'm going to paint it on our corn. Oh my gosh. Yum! This smells so good. And then I'm going to take my bacon and I'm going to wrap it. As I'm making a total mess, but that's okay. Okay, I'm going to start at one end here and I'm going to roll my corn up. Oh my gosh. That's a whole piece of bacon on half a piece of corn. How yummy does that look? So I do have some toothpicks that we could have used some toothpicks on that if we wanted to, but I think the bacon will be fine. I'm just going to put it seam side down on a baking sheet. You can also do these on the bar on the barbecue. Um, some of the recipes I read said cook them in the oven for like 15 minute, uh, minute, minutes or so, and then you could finish them on the grill. So however you want to do this. So I put a little bit of glaze on here. And then I'm going to put, just because we like it hot around here, I'm going to put a couple jalapenos on my corn, and then I'm going to wrap it. Oh my gosh. Yum! So we have our glaze. Oop, oh, my jalapeno to stay there. I try and do this in front of you. So I, oh, I can't hold it. Hold on. Bacon going on. Oh my gosh. Look at that. Yum! So then these would bake, I'm just going to bake them in the oven for like 25 minutes. Halfway through I will turn them um, so they get nice and crispy on all the sides. But I thought the, jal the jalapenos uh, 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 underneath the bacon would be like a popper, like a surprise underneath. So that was our recipes for today. I thought when I was practicing rolling these that um, I would use half a piece of bacon. You know, I thought that would be enough, but I'll show you. It's not nearly enough. <laughs> so we had to go whole strip. So I will um, use the rest of those, wrap the rest of these when you guys are done watching. But I thought that was two really good ideas, different ideas for corn things for today. Now after I bake the um, corn dish and it comes out, um, bake it for probably 30 minutes or so because it's all ready cooked. Yeah, 30 to 40 minutes depending on you know how hot your oven is. And then when it comes out, after it's cooled a, a little bit, I have about a half a cup here of queso fresco that I have grated that I can sprinkle on top. And then I kept a little bit of cilantro for garnish. So a little bit of cilantro and a little bit of queso fresco on top of that when you're serving it. So delicious, delicious, and just something new and different. Because I'm always trying to find things that are easy. Um, you probably have the things in your pantry because you could use frozen corn, you could use canned corn, or of course you can use fresh corn and cut it off the cob if you want to um, to make that corn dish. So hope you guys are having an amazing day. Hey Lori, how are you? Cheryl and Lori. Um, two, Lo two Lori's uh -uh on there. Hello, cool. sister's there. Um, so hope all is well. So we what's for dessert? Dessert. Popcorn. Oh, popcorn. Yeah, I could have made some popcorn. There were so many corn things I couldn't pick. I was going to try and make three things um, today, but I thought that would be too many. Um, this other thing I wanted to make, oh my gosh, you guys, fresh corn off the cob with, um, you roast the corn a little bit on the barbecue or um, on the open flame, you could do it here on your stove. Um, and then you cut it off the cob with avocado and cilantro and lime. Oh my gosh, it looks so yummy. Um, but not today, that's for another day. So I have a birthday shout out, a special one today. And special birthday shout out today, but it's actually his birthday tomorrow, but I won't be here tomorrow. It is Larry Matheny's birthday. Happy birthday to you, sir. It's your birthday. It's your birthday. It's your birthday. Well, not till tomorrow. So this is an early birthday for you, sir. So. Happy birthday. I know you guys are having fun today. It actually looks like you are on horseback to, uh, today. So enjoy that and don't fall off. Um, and other than that, we are going to wrap it up here. Um, you can always, I will post the recipes below here on Facebook. They're also on our YouTube 
channel, Ventura Real Estate, and the recipes are there too. Um, if you follow us at Ventura Real Estate on YouTube, if you would subscribe. We're only a few subscribers short of a thousand, so we're trying to get to a thousand. So if you'd go to YouTube and subscribe, we'd appreciate it. And we know there's only two things you can control, your effort and your attitude. So always pick a good one and always do your best. And we look forward to seeing you soon. Thank you for watching. We love seeing you here because uh, it's just a happy, bright part of our day to see our favorite people, especially when the world is so crazy still. So we love you guys. Thanks for watching. Have a good one. We'll see you soon.